Hello, 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 hello. All right, I am going to check the audio. Make sure that uh, the audio is coming through. It says it's coming through on my OBS. I'm just turning the DVs down so I'm not blasting out your speakers. Um, these lav mics are really loud. Uh, as it says, today we're going to build a Facebook um, carousel ad with Canva. Canva is a really, really awesome software. And for those of you wanting to see that, that's what this video is about. How to build a carousel ad using Canva for your Facebook real estate business page. So that, that's what it's about. Let me, let me get over here and check the audio like I said I was going to, to ensure Okay. It says that it's working. Okay, perfect. Um, thank you. Thank you guys for watching this today. It's been a while since I've done a live. Uh, been super hectic, super busy. Uh, winter time, weather, kids, family, business, uh, new mentories, all that stuff. But thank you. Thank you for joining me today. Josh Barnett, EXP Realty. You ever thought about a career in real estate or if you're thinking about switching brokerages and you wanted to learn more about EXP Realty, don't ever hesitate to reach out to me, call, text, or email me. I'd love to tell you everything that I know about EXP Realty and why I made the switch and even the things that I've seen after I've made the switch. And if you wanna learn a little bit more about me before you do that, this, uh, this, this page right here is Real estate agent tips with Josh. It just tells you some of the stuff that I know. So I'd love to help you succeed and take your real estate business to that next level if that's something that you're looking to do. Now, without any more of that, let's get into today's video, how to build a Facebook carousel ad um, using Canva, using Canva. So let me switch the screens real quick. Transition, the magic of OBS software is so cool. Let me see where it switches over. Okay, perfect. So this is Canva and I've got the annual membership to it. I don't know what it costs, it's not too much. Um, but basically, you're gonna wanna look for a Facebook post. So Facebook post. So Facebook Post. And what, what we're looking for right now, why we're looking for the Facebook post, is we just want to get the right dimensions on the post. So this looks like the right dimensions for Facebook post. So let me click over here. So I just clicked Facebook post right there. And then we're just gonna find one that has the words that kind of works with the real estate ad that we wanna run. We're gonna delete the background. The background's not important. What's important is the words. See this one, this one looks kinda cool. Those words right there, that text, that font, and what I'm building my ad on today is God blessed me with two new land listings. So thank you to God, thank you to Yah, thank you for all the prayers for our family that we received yesterday. That was uh, huge, it was crazy, instrumental. Really felt the power of God yesterday. Thank you guys for all that. Um, but going back to the Facebook post, let's, let's, start off, let's start off with this one. So right here is what we're gonna be using. Okay, so what, the, and, and like I said, we don't want the background. So I'm just gonna select the background and I'm gonna push delete. And the texts are still there. It's just the words are white. So a carousel ad, you can have up to nine slides, I believe. And carousel is the one that goes sideways, that people flick sideways with their thumb. And the reason I like that is I feel like it makes people stop and interact with the ad. And if you could get people to stop on the endless scroll when it comes to Facebook, I think that's what really helps out your real estate ads. So let's, let's just make five of them. So I'm just clicking this little duplicate page right here. That's all I'm doing. 
and then there's five so I've made five duplicate pages you can see that right here by page five and then we'll go and grab the new pictures of the new listing and I'm doing it with vacant land you could do it with any of your new listings that you get as a real estate agent so let me go over to the land that I want to advertise okay and I'm just using aerials and the reason that I just use the aerials is because it's vacant land it's vacant land and if they want to know more about it or see more pictures of it or reach out to me to learn more about it the aerials make them curious and they get them to interact with the ad but they don't give them all the information and some people might look down on that but I'm in sales and it's my job to get the buyer reps that I work with you know inquiries and phone calls so that's that's just how I run my business um, so I'm gonna grab these two definitely and these two have red lines on them that I put there they're not exacts and then I'm gonna grab another one another one and another one so that's five one two three four five and I'm gonna import those so now it's uploading these into canva and then we're just gonna rearrange them in a linear like I say on all my posts all my videos I just take people linear through a property whether that's vacant land or if that's a home uh, mega mansion I just take them linear through the property logically it works sort of like Roy G Biv red Roy G Biv orange yellow green violet indigo blue Roy G Biv blue indigo violet you want to take people through the natural process of everything it helps helps keep their attention helps it work in their brains better but that is what you want to do so I'm going to start off with these red lines first so all I did was click on the one that had a red line and now I'm going to scroll down to page two of the carousel and I'm going to click on the next red line one because I want the outline of the property to be the first two I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to toss a further back view and then I'm going to scroll down toss a another further back view or one that's a little closer then I'm going to scroll down post one that's even a little more closer so I'm going out macro out and then I'm coming in closer so this property the main features are it's down a secluded rural road so we'll be mentioning these main features in the ad and right now I'm just I'm just uh, making the pictures larger to take up the space I'm making the pictures larger to take up the space is all I'm doing and if you're following along and I'm going too fast don't forget you can always pause the video do not forget you can pause the video and take it step by step when I was learning all this when I just started real estate sometimes one of these would take me almost three hours to put together as I was learning it so this little the reason I picked one that already had type on it is because I don't I don't have to think too much about it so this is gonna be five acres more or less with septic and well and so that that those two messages right there five acres more or less with septic and well um, offered as is uh, th th that those two messages on this carousel will not change so those two messages will remain the same so all I'm gonna do is click in there I double clicked in there and then I push control a and I selected everything and now I'm gonna push control C to copy it and I'm gonna go and put that in each one of these bottom ones and there's only five so it's not like I'm gonna do it a bunch 
So this base message, the base message of the ad will not change. It's going to be the same base message of the ad for each slide. Okay. And then this 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 secondary type right here, this will change with each slide. So what I'm going to do is this will actually be moved a little on each slide because I, I don't want it to cover up the five acres. I don't want it to cover up the five acres, so I'm going to move it over here. And all I did is select both of those and make them one selection was I just held down the shift key when I clicked on that. So that is all I did. So um, McLeod Schools. will be the first message. And then this one, I'm gonna move this over a little. And then I click off of it. And then I put secluded rural road. My fingers could type right. Okay, I'm gonna do a Double check on the spelling of secluded. If any of you know me or you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I cheated on spelling tests in elementary school and I don't recommend that. That uh, definitely causes you to look up a lot of things as an adult. I was talking to one of my buddies from high school this morning. We we're talking about how some of our friends' kids are already in their senior year of high school. And that's just utterly crazy how quickly time flies. Just utterly crazy how quickly time flies. Um, this, I'm going to put 85% wooded on this next one. And all I'm doing on, on these messages, on these individual ads, is I'm just putting the highlights. I just want people to keep swiping through, swiping through, because at the end of the carousel, because part of the carousel when we get over to Facebook is also the part that takes them to the website to show them all the pictures, show them all the write-up. These are just messages that are calls to action or highlights of the properties. All these are. Um, circle drive, circle drive. And then once again, I'm just pushing uh, the shift key to select both of these to adjust these words to select them all and then move them as a single unit. And then at the very end, I'm going to reiterate offered as is. And some people will be like, well, that's that's a negative. Why would you put that in there? I want to be up front with all the consumer interaction that I do on a daily basis. As crazy as the real estate market is currently, I want to be so upfront about every property that I'm advertising, that I'm helping a seller sell. Because what I don't want is a buyer to ever contract a property under the false assumption of something. I always, if it's an as-is property, that needs to be up front in the contract, signed off on, so everyone's on the same page. Because what you'd never want to do is you never want to go under contract with a buyer and, and then them back out over something that should have already been discussed in the beginning. Like it's as is, there will be no repairs. There's, it's five acres, it's more or less five acres. It's located on a secluded rural road, super close to a gas station, a grocery store, um, et cetera, et cetera. And, and all that's in the ad that we're gonna send the people to. But this is, this is just, this is the first initial connection with that consumer and I wanna be upfront. Basically, I just want to be up front. So those are the five carousel clips that we're going to use 
for this carousel ad. So now that we've built it like that, so we're going to retitle it. So rural secluded five acres in McLeod, McLeod schools um, carousel. Okay, so, and then once, once you have all that built, okay, and it's pretty linear, pretty con chronological, um, I need to put, because I'm in Oklahoma, I need to be sure to use the company's logo. Oklahoma, you, the, it, it's a very pro-broker state, which there's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, I like that it's a pro broker state and what that what I mean by that is the brokers logo the brokers ownership has to be prominent in Oklahoma so there's nothing wrong with that at all so all I did was um, add the broker logo right there so then I'm going to do five of them and I'm just gonna move them down where they're supposed to go and really really before I duplicated each of these I should have already had that there so go back to the very beginning before I start duplicating these pages and I should have just had uh, each one of those already on there so I wasn't having to do this here at the end I was so excited to show you today's uh, training video that I I skipped that step and you never you never want to skip um, regulated advertising steps because mm -mm. this is a the broker uh, the broker um, prominent logo display is a real estate commission requirement here in Oklahoma and I'm gonna have to put this over here now I can still put it over here this makes this side a little heavy and I, and I wanted to keep that um, uniform I want to keep that broker advertisement uniform but I'm not going to be able to do it. I was cluttering up that corner too much. So I'm going to put it up here in the top left corner. That's where I'm going to put it right now. Okay, so we got that going. Okay, let's, uh, now that we've built those in Canva, now that we've built them in Canva, we're going to go over here to this download button up at the top, right? And we're going to click download. And I download as PNGs. I download as PNGs. And I wish I could download these. Um, so, so I like to download them individually. You could download them all at once, but it compresses it. Well, I guess I could do that. Let me just, I'll download them all as one, all at once. And it downloads them as a zip file. So I click download, download, and it's downloading them. And then I'm going to open up my little download file system so that's it being built right there okay there it is so I'm gonna go into this file system and I'm gonna click control a and that selects everything and then I'm going to copy so now I have them copied and then I'm gonna go over to the property that I'm working on oops I meant to put those in a folder. So I'm gonna to go to the folder, the property folder that I'm working on. I'm gonna put carousel add uh, February 2022, enter. And then I will select the photos that I accidentally pasted there. And I click the first one, went down to the bottom one, held shift, click the bottom one. And now I'm gonna cut, then I'm gonna go in here and paste and I want these in order so control a rename and five rural acres more or less in McLeod schools with well and septic offered as is by Josh Barnett okay 
So now that I've got the files named, I'm going to open up Facebook. Okay. And once Facebook is open, I'm going to go over to pages. And I'm going to go to my real estate business page. Okay. And then this is where Facebook hides the carousel ad part. So let me switch this over real quick so you can see what I'm getting ready to show you. So scroll down to publishing tools on the right bar left on the left bar. Scroll down to publishing tools and click on that. Okay. And then once that page pops up, click create post. And then right here it says photo videos, click that. And that's when it gives you the option to create the photo carousel, photo carousel. So click on photo carousel and it asks you for a destination URL. That's where you're going to go to your eXp website. If you don't have an eXp website yet, if you're not with eXp, you have any questions about eXp, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'd love to sit down with you, go over eXp Realty with you, help sponsor you to the greatest real estate brokerage that's worldwide. It's, it's mind blowing. But go over to your eXp website. Oops, that's the careers website. If you've watched enough of my videos and you're ready to go ahead and join eXp, you just go to joshbardet.exp.careers and then you click apply as an agent right there if, you've already, if you're ready to make that move. Um, but the carousel ad is your retail website, exprealty.com. Okay. And then you'll go down to your listings and then grab the one that you're making it on. So right here it says view details. Put your cursor on top of view details. Right click it and copy the link address. Okay. Now once you copied that link address, go back to your Facebook where it says destination URL. Make sure the cursor is in there and push control V on a Windows PC and then hit the little arrow that says initiate or, or go or whatever and see it's going to pop up. It's going to, it's going to start the carousel ad for you. So go down here to the plus sign, click on the plus sign, go to the folder that we just saved that carousel ad in. Okay. Click the first one, push control A, that selects all, and then click open. And it's going to start uploading those cool little carousel images that we just made together. I live in rural Oklahoma, so my internet's upload speed ranges between 3 and 10. Um, so that's why it's taking a little bit. Okay. All right. How awesome does this look? Unselect the default first one. Okay. Unselect that one because you don't want it there. And now create a chain of call to actions that match the type on your pictures. So, uh, Five rural acres in McLeod schools. Dot dot dot. Okay, click next. Down a secluded rural road. Dot dot dot. Click the next. 85% wooded, five acres, more or less, dot, dot, dot. With circle drive and well 
and septic dot 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 offered as is comma this is the one exclamation 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 okay and then up here on the right up it's going to be very similar to what we've already put looking for five rural acres down a secluded rural road that is 85 percent wooded with two well and septic systems I to verify once again I just always want to be up front well if you are check out this property and then always I always have to put Josh Barnett with exp Realty because I'm in Oklahoma and that's required. All right. And uh, oops, that's my direct line. Let me put my sales line 405 7853. I've got a call rail sales line that when customers call me, if I'm busy, it'll ring the other agents that I work with so that someone can get that phone call and help out that consumer. So um, this is social media so you need to add some emojis so I'm opening up a new tab and I'm gonna to go to eyeball emoji and I'm gonna click on the eyeball emoji that popped up I'm gonna click copy because the first words are looking so I'm gonna put some eyeball emojis around it Cause this is social media I'm gonna get some smiley face heart eyes oops not that one I'm gonna put them right there So I've got some emojis in there. You gotta put emojis in social media. And that is how you build a Facebook carousel post. Okay, so we used Canva to build those five slides, downloaded them, saved them in this properties folder, went over to our Facebook business page, went to publishing tools, clicked on the create a post, clicked on photos, clicked on carousel uh, post, added the, added the website link that takes them to my XP Realty website so people can see all the information on the house, and then added a little write-up that highlighted the same highlights that we already put on the Canva pictures. So go back, watch any part of this video, hit pause, I know it's a lot of information if you don't do this on the regular. Um, I've been doing this now for about five years, these style of posts, and, and I find them to be good because they stop people's infinite scroll. They're like, oh, and they move their thumb side to side instead of up to down. So let's go ahead and share this post. And that shares it to your Facebook business page. Once it's on your Facebook business page, you need to share it to your personal page, which we're gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna go over to the pages. And it's not showing up yet. Let me refresh. Okay, there it is. Okay, so that's a good looking ad. 
Now, like it as your business page. Go ahead and like it as your business page. And then right here, the top left, switch over to you as a person. So now that I'm interacting with my page as a person, also like it. Okay. And then share it to your personal news feed. So go, so click share, then go to more options, go to share to news feed, and just copy the write up that you already wrote, put it as the new write up on it, and then click post. And once it's posted to your personal page, then you as a person can start sharing it to all the um, local pages that you're a member of. Like, like this one, I've got to go join McLeod's garage sale site, McLeod 411. I've got to go join Hera's website, Hera 411. I've got to go join those sites so I can share this post in those pages if it's allowed, always pay attention to those rules that the admins make up for those pages because you don't want to post something in someone's page that they've made up that they don't allow. You don't want to do that. So, all right. If you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with all your friends. If you're at a real estate brokerage that you don't feel is taking you to that next level, that you don't feel that it is all about you. It is all about building you up. It is all about teaching you everything you need to know about real estate. It is all about ensuring your real estate success. If you're not at a brokerage that's all about you, you gotta give me a call. You gotta send me a text. You gotta shoot me an email. I want to talk with you about eXp Realty. No, no, no hard sell. You tell me what your pain points are, I'll show you where eXp Realty solves those pain points. I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it for six years. Dumbest mistake I ever made. I really wish I had listened back in 2015. That's behind me now. I'm where I'm at now. I'm happy and I'm just spreading the good news about eXp Realty to other real estate agents too so that they could take advantage of everything this company has to offer. Thanks so much for watching this video on how to build a carousel ad with Canva and Facebook. I'll see you guys on the next video.